is going on you guys it's your boy alex west Collexia bringing you another figure review and today we're taking a look at the hasbro marvel legends x-men 97 wolverine so this figure's not quite out yet at retail i did grab this off of ebay I paid a little bit more to have it here in hand uh, i was very excited to get this figure wolverine is one of my favorites for sure in the marvel universe uh, i actually did grab an extra for my son who is now two years old and is really taking a liking to a bunch of the marvel characters so uh, that was a little more incentive for me to grab him a little bit earlier but this figure does look great again we've seen this rendition quite a few times from uh, hasbro uh, i definitely have all those figures in my collection we'll do a ton of comparisons but again this is going to be based on the return of the cartoon um for x-men 97 you can see you get your traditional wolverine here in this uh, nice uh, blister packaging uh, he does come with the interchangeable heads you can see he has the masked uh head itself as well as the Logan head with the actual unmasked uh, kind of piece that you could put over his neck to make it look like he's pulled that mask back. He does come with the traditional uh, Wolverine claws as well as the interchangeable hands without the claws retracted. Uh, looks really good. Absolutely love the artwork of Wolverine here on the side. You get the Wolverine nameplate, X-Men 97 logo, a bunch of the other characters that are upcoming in this wave. Flipping to the back, again, this is just such a vintage vibe to it is what I really love about this packaging. And it's great to see a Marvel Legends packaging with the plastic, no more plastic free on some of these collector pieces. Really just adds another level to it. Again, you'll see the other figures in the series. You got Magneto, Rogue, Bishop, Gambit, Storm, and of course Wolverine, as well as the image of the figure. Uh, I'm planning on picking up Gambit. I'll wait till he hits retail. I don't know about any of the others. I feel like I have the better versions of these characters. Uh, but anyways enough chatting let's get wolverine out of his packaging and see what he's all about taking a look at wolverine out of his packaging so you get a few accessories with this figure more than what we're used to getting with marvel legends i will have to say um so you get a set of interchangeable fisted hands here uh with the claws not retracted you also do get obviously the set of fisted hands with the claws retracted additionally you'll have your logan civilian head looks really nice Got the awesome cartoon kind of hair sculpt that you would expect to see with Wolverine or Logan. Uh, he does have some stubble. Let's see if I could get a little bit of a close-up for you guys. You can notice it on his beard. It's just kind of hard to pick up. There's just ever so slightly a little bit of stubble. I did get two of these, so uh, it is consistent. It is not an error because at first I was like, what is that? Some paint applications or something that were kind of messed up. But great likeness to Logan. And you also will get... Uh, this mask piece, which we've seen before with other like Wolverine figures to make it give him that image of the mask being pulled down um, over his head. Uh, and you can see the figure itself does look great. We have seen this mold quite a few times, right? Uh, with different figures, especially that cell shaded version that recently came out with the VHS box set. Uh, but this Logan or Wolverine looks pretty good. He's got the nice big ears. He's got the exact color that you'd want for your kind of like yellow finish uh, with the tiger stripes here. He's got the X on the red belt here. Again, the blue is a little bit of a different shade than I think we've seen in the past. It's more like a darker kind of, I don't want to say navy, but like kind of a, a nice matte finish, even on like uh, the upper parts here of his costume. Uh, looks really good. And again, he also does have that little bit of stubble on his chin, just like the Logan figure. So at least it's consistent. I don't know if this is going to be based on the cartoon when it comes back, but... Um, obviously you know it's nice that they went they're consistent with that you can see on the back the ears look nice and wide here again we've gotten quite a few like the original tiger stripe were a little too orangey the ears were kind of sunken in or whatever the part of the mask you want to call it this looks nice exactly how you'd per uh picture it uh additionally he does have the kind of uh, awesome kind of flares out on here on the boots with the black and the blue design continuing on here unfortunately his arms they do have these sculpted um, hair on there, but they are not painted, unfortunately. That is a little disappointing, I feel like. Uh, we have yet to get your perfect like Wolverine with the, the arm hair that is actually painted in and just sculpted here on this figure. So that's kind of annoying, a little bit of a gripe there. But all in all, it's exactly what you'd want for your Wolverine figure. If you guys also want to get a quick close-up on these claws, I do like these new designs that they have been using uh, versus some of the original ones where these just easily pop off. This looks a lot nicer and honestly a lot more comic book accurate or cartoon accurate if you ask me. I want to get a few close-ups of the actual head sculpts and compare the two that come with the figure. So you get your masked head here and we have the unmasked Logan head here additionally with the piece that comes uh, for it to sit around the neck to look like he has pulled the mask off over his head. Really do like how this head looks on this body. 
Starting off our comparisons, I have quite a few Wolverine figures in my collection. So on the left, we have the Hasbro Pulse cell shaded exclusive Wolverine. You can see it is very similar to this new X-Men 97. It is the same body, this, the same head scan. Obviously, this has the, the cell shaded effects you will see on the suit. Uh, I personally like the new 97, X-Men 97 suit a lot better. Uh, and on the right, we have, I believe this is from the Love Triangle 3 pack, the interchangeable head with the kind of like pissed off look here. Um, you can see as far as the, the color on this, uh, there is more of a shine to the actual like black painted designs here. This is more of a matte finish. The yellow is a lot brighter on the new figure and the blues are definitely a, a completely different shade that continues uh, from the gloves down to his boots. For our next set of comparisons, on the left, we have the brown-suited Walgreens exclusive Wolverine that came out way long ago. And on the right, we have the first original release Tiger Stripe from Hasbro. I remember being so excited to get this figure. And, you know, the yellow didn't look quite right, but now they've kind of redone this kind of uh, suit a few times. With the Love Triangle, we got it with this new, obviously, uh, X-Men 97. We've got it with the Hasbro uh, VHS box exclusive. And I feel like all those figures are just so far superior than this original release here on the right. Here's also a quick comparison of a different uh, unmasked Logan head scan. Uh, again, I really like this for the time, but I am liking this X-Men 97 head a lot more. I will say I'm not really crazy about how the stubble is painted on this figure, but uh, I do think it looks more of the cartoon version that I'm familiar with. Also, if you were curious to see what this Wolverine uh, looked like stacked up next to a few other X-Men characters. So on the left, we have the Love Triangle Jean Grey. And on the right, we have the VHS box exclusive Cyclops. If you guys are enjoying this video review, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel here. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. This Wolverine is a lot of fun. I know we've gotten quite a few versions of the Tiger Stripe in the yellow, right? Um, but it doesn't disappoint. I feel like every time they release a different version, I get excited to own it to the point where I paid a little extra to get him here earlier. Uh, I believe I did actually see a report on a Facebook group that someone did find the new X-Men 97 series at their local Walmart. So looks like they are probably starting to hit retail sooner than later. But if you guys don't have a Tiger Stripe Wolverine in your collection, go ahead and grab this one because it will not disappoint. I don't think it's necessarily any better or worse than any versions we've gotten in the past. But I didn't really care for the cell shaded version too much, to be honest. I mean, I bought two of those figures because, again, I'm just a sucker. Wolverine is one of my favorites in the Marvel Universe. I'm sure a lot of people are. He's one of the biggest fan favorites for sure. But I like that this one's just cleaner. It's the yellow suit. There are no extra, like, deco hits to it. It is your classic cartoon-esque Wolverine. And you also do get the Logan head, which really puts it over the top. I really do like the likeness to it. If there's one stupid complaint I'm going to mention, I don't really care of how the stubble is painted on the head scan. That kind of just takes a little bit away from me. That is really the only gripe I have. Other than that, I love it. The figure is a lot of fun. I feel like it looks great. Uh, uh, mint on card if you guys can keep it in the box because now you got the plastic windows back. Um, and the figure is just a lot of fun to pose around and mess around with. So I highly recommend it. Uh, before you guys go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects where I will be posting a ton more pictures of this figure and other figure content for sure. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review and I'll catch you all on the next one.